rounding off. So when we round off, we round off to the nearest 10, we look at the last number. If we round off to the nearest 100, we look at the second last number. And we, when we round off to the nearest 1000, we look at the third um, last number. So here, we have to round off to the nearest 10. So if we look at the 69, we look at the 9. If a number is a 9, it's bigger than a 5, it's going to change my next number. You can see this is a 9, it's bigger than a 5, it's going to change my 6 to a 7, and after that it becomes a 0. This is a 2, it's less than a 5, so it's not going to have an impact on my 7. So my 7 stays 7, and it's going to be a 0 after it. And when we look at this number, it's a 0. If it's a 0, there's no place it can have an impact on, it's going to stay 150. Rounding off to the nearest 100, we're going to look at the second last number. So we're going to look at this 9 here. This 9 is bigger than a 5, so it's going to have an impact on the 7. So we're going to round it off. The 7 is going to change to an A. And after that, it's 0, 0. There's two digits after that. Let's look at the second one. This is a 2. It's less than a 5, so it's not going to have an impact on a 6. So 6 stays a 6. And of it becomes a zero, zero. And if we look at the last one, it's a five. So a five and a bigger than five change. So this one is going to change my five to a six. And of it going to be zero, zero, zero. Because it's two digits, two digits. And that's how we do rounding off.